Okay, everyone, and welcome back. So, uh, in our last episode, we made a whole bunch of seared brick, and as you can see, it's still raining outside, which I find highly suspicious. But, as many of you may or may not know, lava requires a lot of stuff <laughs> to uh, be generated using EMC. So, what I plan to do is take all this cobble and gravel and dirt and garbage that the minions dug up, and I plan on using it to more or less help generate some of that excess, much like someone with a quarry in the old Tekkit would do. Oh, wait, no, I need those stones. The oak. I need the oak. There. That should do. Actually, let me save one of the dirt. You can never tell when you need dirt. Okay. Now, obviously, throw a couple of diamonds in there to assist in the formation of buckets of lava. There we go. Keep this one as a spare. So, let's start putting buckets of lava in. Now I can turn these buckets back into lava. Into buckets of lava, rather. Sadly, since I don't have ender tanks, the tanks are not completely full yet. This should be more than enough to keep them running for some time. You will just smell vast amounts of resources and liquid. Okay, one more bucket should fill it to the brim. And there we go. We have a fully powered up. So, we have a successfully large amount of uh, fuel for our smeltery. It's very hot, it'll burn a lot of materials real fast. I think one of the first things we should do, though, is tear down this wall and build the house outwards so that we will be able to access the smeltery. I probably should not have decided to do this right now at night, but you know me. <laughs> I'm crazy. Of course it had to rain for three straight days in Minecraft. Okay, so right now I'm just going to cover the top, make it quick quick fix as possible hmm. I don't think we're going to bother with that um, but yeah okay so Make some stone bricks and continue building the wall outwards from there. Stone bricks.
Okay. And now let me get on the side here. And now I can see about replacing this floor. Because, you know. Now, obviously, when you're dealing with molten materials, you don't want a wood floor. So, I'll make it out of stone brick. Hopefully those blasted silverfish don't infest my house further. But yes, I feel that I nicely incorporated this into the home, and it should be pretty useful. Maybe I may get some materials to uh, test how its efficiency is. Ah, more baked potatoes. Perfect. Iron. Quicksilver. Fun fact, Quicksilver actually uh, doesn't exist in a solid form at room temperature. So, the fact that you would have to smelt it to get it out of the uh, <laughs> stone is ridiculous. All you would have to do is break the stone and it would run out on its own. So, I'm going to go down and tell the minions to line us up some new materials. <laughs> I believe the minions may be invisible for the moment, but that may pass. They've been mining in this direction for a while. So why not continue the pattern? Yes, mine. Mine for brains. Yes, my minions. Mine. Mine, or I'll pick you up with a gravity gun and hold you in the lava. You know, I beat them quite often. I feel not often enough. <laughs> I mean, they're far more quick and efficient than any quarry or railcraft digger has ever been. The only other thing that could be possibly more efficient than they are is the uh, digital miner. And that's simply because it doesn't dig through the earth, it just cherry picks. This gravel will make some excellent material to transmute. It's always in the way. And it also gives me fun while I'm trying to... I always find that people unappreciate gravel. It really is a very versatile and useful substance to have.
Oh, look, more lava. Okay. So, now the minions should go back upstairs and put their well-earned loot into the um, chest. And shit is this way. Hmm. It seems that the minions have unknowingly allowed mobs into my home. But that's okay. I know how to handle mobs. At least it's not a dragon. Which should actually be a concern, because I know for a fact that the biggest and most powerful dragons in the mod um, do not spawn on the surface. They spawn in caverns, deep underground, and... Uh, in the event that... Uh, I don't understand. The minions should be teleporting here. Yep. That that should make them come up here and put their stuff in this chest. Ah. bringing in some materials for me to use. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Hmm. Silver, redstone. Not bad. Oh, melt it. And the smeltery. It'll be its trial run. Mm -hmm. I may have to add more buckets of lava. But the minions are certainly making things much easier. it should turn into a thin layer of, there we go, molten iron. Perfect. So, we have more diamonds and other things of the like. We have a working smelter here. We have more materials to work with. Decent source of food. Hmm. I think we're having a recipe for success. The only thing that could make this better is if I could enchant easily. 
but sadly I don't have a way to generate experience. But I may know a way to assist with gathering extra experience. I also may make an extra two casting basins and faucets if I want. But uh, that's not a big priority for me right now. So, what should I make next? Okay, I just heard the sound of a chicken getting hurt again, and I don't like that. Because those are my chickens. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? What can we make? Where is our poison? We have laser rods. Ooh, I know what we could do. Potions! Where did I put the laser rods when I came back from the nether? Yes, there they are. And I know we have nether brick. And I will turn some of this nether rack into nether brick. And I know we have nether wart. And I know that we have soul sand. So. Let's start preparing for potion brewing. We have quite a wide array of ingredients that I could use, so I think the first thing that I will do is put down this soul sand here. Yes, right next to my bed so that I can hear their screams of anguish during the night. And it will keep my heart warm. <laughs> Jesus, that was dark. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'll even use this nether brick here to surround it. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm lucky that Seriously? I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So. There. Now. Nether wart, thankfully, will regrow. So, it's useful to me. Secondly, I can turn the blaze rods into blaze powder, but I can also. Boom. Turn them into blaze rods. Okay. See what this is. Now, I'll put this nether rack in here to be smelted into nether brick, which is ironic because the nether is already full of lava. Now, I have some. Now, I know that there's a crafting recipe for a. See here, where is it? Where is it? Oh, where is the blast of the bloody thing? Um, no, 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 no. Did they frickin' even remove it or what? I don't see it. I really don't. It should be fairly easy to find item. It's a, uh, in fact, it should be right next to the cauldron. I don't see that on the list. Where is the cauldron? Cauldron, cauldron, cauldron. It's usually right around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Cauldron, yeah. Okay, so it's just cobblestone. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is... Inside of them dodo birds is weird. <laughs> okay. So, where's our iron? There's the iron. Okay. So, I'll smelt the iron into blocks. Mm, 
Look at it slowly harden into iron blocks. There we go. And now it's so much more efficient because it still has three ingots of molten iron. We're literally making more iron now than we ever have. Oh, one moment. 